Hey everybody, it's Justin Sally Art. I'm gonna do some resin today. And finish up these pieces. I'm gonna be using Artisan Resin from DIY Epoxy. This is my go-to resin um, for doing coasters and any kind of top goading. I've been doing it with um, all my trivets, coasters, uh, canvas everything this stuff is awesome it's super thick uh, it's water clear as you can see on both of them um, it has UV stabilizers in it it's just oh zero VOCs uh, I'm really sensitive to a lot of the resin smells so this stuff is awesome um, if you guys want to try it out I have a affiliate discount and reach out to me or look in my bio and you can get the discount yourself all right so uh let's get started we'll get it mixed up today i'm going to be using uh, a half cup and what i use to clean whatever i'm doing the coasters or any of these um cutouts or anything i do i have a little bit of uh windex and water mixed up and I wipe them off. Sometimes I use rubbing alcohol water, um, but I always do have a bit of rubbing alcohol around as well because as soon as I get done mixing, I wipe this out. Uh, rubbing alcohol and a paper towel will clean that out immediately and then you don't have to worry about any resin being stuck and you can use it again right away. Always make sure you're protecting yourself. Uh, you want a proper ventilation mask. Um, you want to be wearing gloves. You want to keep yourself protected, even with this stuff that's zero VOCs or lo low VOCs, excuse me, hiccup. Uh, you always want to be protecting yourself. All right, it's going to be a little muffled, if you can hear me, because I got my mask on. If you can, you want to heat this resin up a little bit because it's super thick and it really helps to loosen it up a little bit. You don't want to make it hot, you just kind of room temperature and it will make it work a lot better. Mixing will go a lot easier. All right, so. We're filled up to the top here. You want to scrape the sides, get everything out of your cup. Because you're trying to get exactly equal parts, one to one ratio. And resin is very precise, so you want to be able to get perfect amounts, if not like perfectly close. If anything, you can have a tiny bit more hardener, but you can't have more resin or it won't cure correctly. You always run that risk of it not curing correctly if it's not a perfect mix. All right, we got a bunch of resin in here. You can see I got alcohol on a paper towel. All right, one white. Almost perfect. We're gonna use it for our hardener. To cap back on, make sure you're sealed tight and keep your resin stored in a dark place. Room temperature dark place. We're going to go in with the hardener. All 
All right, we're gonna mix her up. I'll get back with you. This takes about three minutes. Go slow. Fold. Don't whip. day let me show you the results of this resin so I'm gonna roll these lights over so you can see any imperfections which this came out pretty near perfect just does a great job look how this is one coat by the way so you can see how thick it is on the edges it just it does a remarkable job Artisan resin from DIY epoxy. This piece is awesome. And then this is another cool one. This is, I'll roll the lights over it again. It's hard to focus, it focuses more on the lights, but you can see that there's no imperfections. Even on this little thing, it's super thick on the edges. That's why I like it. And this is a super sweet uh, color shifter Ryu Dragon Ultra Shift from Eye Candy Pigments. Look how beautiful that is. Green gold, teal aqua blue. Super pretty. Yeah, so they come out really good. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, uh, learned something, and please follow, like, and share. Come back, check out my social. I appreciate all you guys so much. If you have any questions, shoot them at me, and I'll do my best to get back at you. Have a blessed day.